This video is brought to you by Ace of 12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. You preset this bold class to um, be bold, of course. But if you ID it, okay, and remember, uh, you don't have the dot with IDs. You have this hash. What will happen is you can't use this i you can't use this bold um, ID anywhere else. You can only use it in this one place. So IDs are good if you don't want to, let's say, accidentally change something. Uh, sorry, not change. Use something again. Uh, like you know, you've got a big HTML file and you don't want to accidentally um, use the same class again. You you can just have IDs and that will sort the problem. Um, but IDs are basically just um, precautions, so you, you know you just only set that one place to whatever you want it to be. So we're just gonna have ID equals table one, and get rid of this bold. We don't need it. Uh, so hash table one, same as we put in here because we're addressing this table one div tag. Oh right, and remember to close the div tag. Oops, not dov, div. <laughs> okay, so, um, position is absolute. So this is going to say, it, we, we're going to specify where we want it to be. So, first put top naught px, and then left is naught px as well. Okay, and if you go back to your file, it's now in the very corners of the HTML file. What we're doing here, basically, I can't exactly remember if I've gone through um, positioning in previous um, tutorials, but I will go through it now, just in case. What this top means, you'd think, oh, it's probably pulling it to the top, but what it's doing is it's pushing it away from the top. So if I put 500px in here, it's like a hand is coming down from here and pushing it 500 pixels down the page, and that's the same with left. It's like a hand is coming across from here, I can't actually go any further, and pushing it 500 pixels to the right. So, basically what it means is left is right, right is left, top is bottom, and bottom is top. Um, you can think of it like that if, it conf if I'm confusing you with the other way, but if, if you can make sense of this, do um, think of it as um, you're pushing it from the top and you're pushing it from the left. You're pushing it from the white right, sorry, and you're pushing it from the bottom. Um, you don't really use bottom though, because the bottom is infinite. Of course, it can go as far as the page needs to be, so don't really use bottom. Anyway, if we save this, okay. So here's our element. It's been pushed 500 pixels down and 500 pixels across, and um. We don't want it there, we want it a bit to the center of the page, of this page, sorry, the center of this page, because um, our page could go on for a while. So we say the center of this page. So I'm going to I'm gonna try, try reducing it by 100 pixels, see if that will do anything. Okay, it's a bit closer, not quite though. Let's try putting it at 350, sorry. Okay, so that's about center. I'm going to say that's fine. Um, maybe we could put the left down to 450. Okay, so now we've got space to add dimensions and stuff. Um, okay, let's just go through um, putting backgrounds into tables. So I'm going to delete all this style. We can keep these four dimensions. Um, before you continue with the video, make sure you understand what all these tags are saying so I'm just gonna go through that now if you if you understand just skip this part of the video okay so what's happening is basically we open the table with this table tag we've got the border set to 1, cell spacing 0 and cell padding 5 so there's actually 5 pixels in between um, everywhere on the left, the right, top and bottom Okay, and then we open one table row. So we're saying, okay, I want one table row, and then I want one table cell in this one table row. So here's our row from this bit here to this bit here, 
and this is our table cell within that row and this is another another table cell within that row which was specified here but after we close this table cell make sure to close your table cells and your table rows and so now we're closing the table row and we're opening a new table row and we've got one table dimension here with some text in here and another table dimension here uh, sorry another uh, table dimension closing and then another here and closing here and then closing the row and then closing the table so from here to here is all this okay so remember from here to here was this top bit here well from here to here is this bottom one okay so um, we can add more table rows and more table dimensions it can go on for a while <laughs> as long as you can be bothered to type and finally we're closing the table here so nothing below this is going to be in the table okay so um, let's just a quick run through if you didn't know what was going on um, I'm going to go find an Im a suitable image which can be our background and I'll be right back And now just for a tiny bit of off-topic promotion, um, recently um, a friend of mine launched a World of Warcraft private server. So um, so he launched this private server. You can go to shadewild.servergame.org and if you just click create account on the links menu here and you can create account, uh, create an account, sorry. Um, uh, there's some um, info on the info page so I'm not going to talk about the server in this short clip but I just want to tell everyone that I actually made the site so um, at the moment I've made this home page and meet the staff page this is actually me here I am a GM on the server as well I haven't done the info page at the moment so um, yeah I'm just taking a bit of a breather at the moment but um, Anyway, this this page just sort of gives you an idea of what um, you'll be able to do once I teach you, once I've finished my series of HTML tutorials with CSF, CSS, of course, sorry. Um, so yeah, if you um, fancy just looking at the source code, you can come down here and click view and um, page source, or just right click anywhere, view page source. Okay, this was everything coded from scratch. Um, a couple of the images were stolen though, <laughs> but um, otherwise it's all coded from scratch. So um, take a look. Anyway, this has been tutorial by Subtolver and out.